Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today I just wanted to share some uh, low cost budget friendly ways on how to purchase supplies for your notary business and also share some tips that I have found helpful. I have been a notary now for almost a year. I got my commission um, at the beginning of the year in January. And um, one of the things I started out doing first was general notary work. So what I did um, from January to about June, I was just doing primarily general notary assignments, power of attorneys, um, just any quick um, single document that needed to be notarized. And what I did was save that money so that I acquired money for my printer and my scanner. So that's one of the ways that I came up with money in order to uh, purchase those supplies. I did end up buying the Brother 5200 printer and for the scanner, I have the Epson 300. And um, I also purchased my scanner refurbished. So don't be afraid to, to buy something that has been used or refurbished. I hear a lot of notaries purchasing items from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I actually purchased my printer from the Epson website. And um, I've had it for about four or five months now and no problems and it works really well. It's just as, in my opinion, just as good as new. So don't always have to go out and buy the item brand new. And also um, the, the scanner that I chose, the reason for that um, brand, or that model is that it is portable. So I can bring it with me if I want to go straight to FedEx instead of coming home, I can scan the document. And I normally don't do the large scan back packages, but um, some of the companies that I've been doing signings for, I only have to scan back a few pages. And so this works out really good um, where I can just scan the documents from my car and run inside FedEx or UPS, and then I'm headed home. Um, so I do like the Epson 300. And also as far as um, just my supplies, always go to Dollar Tree first. So they have your paper clips, uh, they have your um, index cards, they have your ink pens. Um, they have a lot of items there that you can utilize as a um, notary or loan signing agent. Um, I have a few of the things here that I picked up. Um, one of them is this pack of shoe covers. Um, this comes in handy. Sometimes people don't, they don't want you to wear shoes into their home or um, if you are able to keep your shoes on, this just looks, um, helps you from tracking any kind of dirt um, through their home. So if you see these in Dollar Tree, these do come in handy when also these flags are really helpful too, so that you can make sure you don't miss any signatures um, or places that you need to notarize on a document. And they are reusable. And for the index cards, um, the reason I buy those is because when I am at the signer's home, for some reason, even though they sign their name uh, or date two or three times throughout the signing process, they always ask, um, what's today's date? Or they don't sign their name as they should, um, as it's printed on the document. So I have it on the index card. I write their name and also their initials and today's date so that they can know um, have right in front of them how they should sign uh, when it comes to that signature page. So that, those are some tips that I have found helpful. And also make sure you invest in some um, training course. Uh, there's several training courses out there right now. So you just wanna make sure that you invest in the one that's going to give you a um, guaranteed return on your investment. Um, I took my training with the uh, Notary Institute, uh, LaShawn Jenkins, and she was very thorough and guided me through the entire uh, loan signing process from beginning to end. Um, even if you are a brand new notary, um, she will be able to guide you through the process on setting up your um, profile, um, even creating a website and just giving you um, many great tips and suggestions on how to conduct your loan signings. Um, I completed the course back in June and thus far I have not made any errors. Um, I did exactly as she said and um, 
so far I'm pleased with the outcome of her course so I will also and she also has um, videos on YouTube so definitely check out her videos and I also purchased a book um, by Bill Soroka um, sign and thrive that book has been very uh, beneficial as well so you definitely want to make sure that you do invest um, in yourself and invest in your business um, I know a lot of people probably want to try to take shortcuts, but I can truly say that if you make those investments, they will pay off in the long run. Um, also, low-cost marketing tools. I have purchased car magnets that I use on the side of my vehicle when I'm driving to and from appointments. Um, I also found that those are helpful when I am um, coming up to a person's home they can easily uh, recognize me um, because I do have the um, the the mar the marketing magnet on the side of my car identifying I am a mobile notary. Um, so, and I've also gotten a few calls uh, when people have seen me driving um, around with the signs on the car and business cards. I know some people feel that they are obsolete, um, but. For some reason, sometimes when I'm at signings, actually oftentimes when I'm at signings, um, the signer is always asking, do I have a card? Um, can I leave a card with them? Uh, they, they usually will say that they know they have some documents that they will need to have notarized soon, or um, they will refer me to their um, friends or family members. So uh, I ordered um, a pack of business cards from Vistaprint, very low cost. And I also right now, since we are having to wear a mask now with the pandemic, um, I usually have my mask on, you know, be, you know, before I even ring their doorbell. So I purchased a badge so that they can see my face on the badge since I'm wearing a mask. And those badges were about $3. I ordered them from the Zazzle.com website. And um, those have worked very well also. Um, and I think it just helps kind of um, relieve the, the borrower's mind. They can at least see who's entering their home and they can easily identify me. So um, those are just some helpful tips that I wanted to share. Um, but the, um, and I hope that the video has been helpful um, to you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Take care and be blessed.